Regular expression is one of those powerful tools that you will need to master either if you work as a FortiGate administrator, a checkpoint administrator, or just playing around with your Linux or Mac terminal. So here is a quick tutorial on how to find IP addresses on a configuration file from your FortiGate firewall. Coming up. For a quick tutorial, we will use our 48 configuration file. So let's move to admin configuration, backup, and let's backup our configuration into our local PC. Now let's open the configuration file. Let's just copy everything in it. And I will use the Reg101 website, which is a great place to learn regular expression. And paste the configuration into the text pane. All right, so we have we have uh, hundreds of lines, some of them includes IP addresses, some of them not, and we will try to look for IP addresses, only IP addresses. All right, so let me write down the pattern and then I will show you the logic behind it. And as we can see, we have 36 matches. That is, we have found 36 IP addresses. To understand the logic behind it, let's just uh, delete what is in the text pane and let's write down something uh, that includes IP addresses. I have connected through 10.0.3.44 and that connection to my WAN interface at 1 1 1 100 was great. All right, so let's look at the pattern and understand what we are actually doing. So the very first thing that we can see is that we are using either square brackets, which is also known as a character class, we are using curly brackets, which are known as quantifiers. And we're using a backslash and the dot characters. Now, the square brackets actually defines the characters inside. And if we separate characters or digits, in our case, with a hyphen, so we actually define a range, a range of characters or digits that our regular expression will look for. The second thing is the curly brackets. So here we define a quantifier. That is, it looks for a repetition. It looks for a match between one, two, three times. So we can use it to look for repetition in digits, one up to three and more times. Now, the following is a backslash and the dot characters. We need our pattern to follow a dot after each pattern. So to do so, we use the dot character, but the dot character in regular expression actually means anything. So we have to escape it. How do we escape it and uh, make sure that our regular expression looks for the dot character? We use a backslash. Now, the last quantifier, as we can see, is the number three. If we change it to number two, you will see that it will not look for four consecutive matches. It will only look for three. If we change it to one, it will only look for one consecutive match. 
So we have to use three consecutive matches to be sure that we have a full IP address. As a full IP address is built of four octets. That is a pattern of four consecutive numbers. Each number, as we have just described, is made up of three characters.